Valtteri Bottas is officially out of the spotlight as a full-time driver for 2025, but that doesn't mean the entire F1 project is closed for him. The team with which he won 10 races and has never missed a Q3 session is now very likely to reunite with the Finn and use his services in order to improve the quality of their car. With all this in mind, can we see Bottas working in the background of Mercedes? And more importantly, will that keep him ready for an opportunity if it arises somewhere? somewhere else. It's safe to say that Bottas' departure from F1 is something that pained the fans of the sport, but unfortunately in a business like this, if you don't perform well, you're out of the game, regardless or not as to whether it was the team's fault as to why your performance was bad. This is why both Bottas and Joe have been replaced by Hülkenberg and at the upcoming star Bortoletto. But while Joe doesn't have too much to hope for his F1 future, the same situation can't be said for Bottas, who is now very likely to join Mercedes as their reserve driver. Valtteri has served as Hamilton's teammate from 2017 to 2021, winning 10 races and the most impressive fact was probably not missing a single Q3 appearance in this period. However, while he showed some flashes of a champion, he never could have got past the excellence of Hamilton and always stayed in his shadow. Nevertheless, he's not bidding for an active role in the Brackley-based squad as we talk. Bottas is now likely to reunite with the team that started to struggle massively as he left them before the beginning of the ground floor era. Mercedes have never actually understood what went wrong with their car and after the latest statement of Shovlin that their car struggles in the same corners that it struggled before the upgrade, it's worth mentioning that Bottas' experience will help a lot behind closed doors. After all, he is the man who has won races and while many believe that he deserved the spot in Sauber, the team decided to go in a different direction and follow the flow with the massive influx of young drivers entering the grid, which might as well spell good news for Bottas in the midterm because it's not guaranteed that all of these drivers will perform that well to keep their seats. What we must have in mind is Nico Hülkenberg. The man sat out three years outside of the sport from 2019 to 2022 and served as a reserve driver in multiple teams only for him to receive a call from Haas and then go on to replace the struggling Mick Schumacher. Look what that brought him and if we're to compare the profiles of these two drivers it would look like Bottas would do very well in a team that would have a car being able to score points. Even Mercedes have hinted themselves on X, formerly known as Twitter, that they are open for a reunion with Bottas. And when addressing his future, while thanking Sauber for what they gave him as an opportunity in the past couple of years, Bottas highlighted that anything is possible in terms of signing a contract with Mercedes and being their reserve driver. Furthermore, he said, Firstly, the priority is to stay as a race driver. That is what I want and that is what we are pushing for. But of course, as I don't have anything signed, we are in October and I have to look at all the alternatives. That includes going back to the Mercedes family. That's for sure one option and I would consider it. But there are other options as well. What this brings to the table for Mercedes, apart from the experienced driver who will work tirelessly in the background to bring the team to where they need to be, back on the winning tracks is a driver who can also step in if a scenario happens in which Russell or Antonelli won't be available to race. This gives Mercedes the chance to put a driver who won't have a damage limitation race because of the unavailability of these two drivers, but one who would much rather score points and fight for podiums. And it would surely add to the resume of the Finn because he's definitely far away from retirement. Formula One, as of now, stays his priority. And with Bottas understanding the structure of the team, having been part of it for five years, it's easy to assume that he will find it very easy to incorporate into their background and give them plenty of information information about the car's behavior and where it needs to improve the most. Mercedes have already opened up on their 2025 focus and this is definitely something that Bottas would have to follow closely because if he is the chosen man for the reserve driver role and the man who will help the team solve these issues then he would have to work very closely with a lot of engineers that he has done in the past. Of course he won't have to work with James Valls and won't have to hear the infamous Valtteri it's James message to let Hamilton pass but at this point I think he would sign that over being a reserve driver and a background worker. Nevertheless, the trackside engineer of Mercedes, Andrew Shovlin, spoke about the issues of the car and the primary focus for 2025. As he added, we are confident there are some fundamentals that we've got to get to grips with 
on this year's car in order to fix them on the W16 and we are very busy with that right now and hopefully making the right changes over the winter will help us so that we won't struggle with this in 2025. Adding Bottas can definitely be described as a right change because as I mentioned earlier in the video ultimately you're adding a driver who is ready to hop in and make sure you're on the right track with your car development so the slow speed corners which is the primary issue of Mercedes will definitely be less problematic if it's tested and given feedback by Bottas. Now of course there will always be a sour note that we will have to talk about and that's the fact that Bottas was always seen as the second driver in Mercedes so to return as a reserve driver will I'd imagine hurt his ego because while it's keeping him in the Formula One circles it's still a little bit humiliating for him to accept such circumstances given the fact that he has 10 race wins but the nature of the sport has evolved in a different direction and even though Bortoletto is yet to win the Formula 2 championship it seems like his driving as well as Alonso's ability to negotiate with Bonotto have brought this scenario to fruition and we have to ride the wave with it. On the other hand there are always other options that Bottas can and I'm sure will consider outside of Formula 1 if he sees that his time has passed by which is painful to think about but is still something that might well happen. Another competition is the WEC or the World Endurance Championship and at the 1996 World Champion Damon Hill has spoken about how important it is for Bottas to consider all of the options and how much he will stay exposed to the media if he keeps around Formula 1 compared to other the series but in order to do that you'd have to be someone who is driving the car and not working in the background and when talking about it Hill said I think it's very difficult these days I think Formula One is so popular now it's so massive when a driver is in Formula One they are big news whatever they do or say and then to move out of Formula One there's such a huge drop off in attention we've seen Vettel doing his promotion for green issues and the environment but he needs F1 to make that happen the outside world is very different and if you are a racing driver and you've still got something to give like Valtteri then he wants to be driving something. That something though is definitely not going to be a Formula 1 car in the next year or so unless something astronomically bad happens with the new influx of young drivers and he would be asked to step in and replace those lads but whether we like it or not we might as well see Bottas out of the sport and in another championship and when talking more about it Hill continued I can see Bottas going and doing something like Weber with the world endurance or something like that rather than just sitting around I mean coming to a race and being a spare part is no fun really if you've been on the grid. With all this in mind, do you think that Bottas deserves what he had coming for him? And more importantly, do you think that he will accept the role of reserve driver in Mercedes? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you're interested in the latest sponsorship drama in Red Bull that kind of guaranteed the seat of Perez in 2025, make sure to check out the video that's appearing on your screen right now.